Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome to an update of the My Time and Ever Shine Kickstarter. Haven't filmed one of these in a while. I had a look, it was September 26th. I kept hoping that there'd be some like really big release of information and then that just never came and it was just like all these little tiny morsels and crumbs. So we're gonna first start off saying we officially hit two million dollars. It happened last night for me at like around like 9.30 central time. Uh, there are 10 days to go. They have updated the Kickstarter stretch goals. Uh, so we're gonna cover that really quickly. So if you do hear in the background, they did release the music. It is right here. If you wanna listen to it, it is on SoundCloud. It is beautiful. I'm a sucker for any type of music with a violin. I think the only thing better than a music with violin is music with a piano. So give me a violin and I'm just like, I'm happy, happy, happy girl. Um, so we have new re stretch goals. Got little Avery in the boat still. So now that we've reached $2 million, we have officially unlocked player body customization. Yay! You will be able to adjust your build, making them more muscular, heavier, or slimmer. You can also tweak specific features like uh, shoulders, arms, and thighs. Additionally, you can age your character by adding details like wrinkles and other signs of aging. Very cool. Like I, This is so much more inclusive for all the different types of people who do play this game. I love it. So then they did a vote um, over the weekend for me. So I think it was Saturday the 12th they did do a vote uh to decide what the new stretch goals were going to be and i'm guessing this is the order they came in so 2.25 million dollars expanded wardrobe and outfit preset features unlock 20 new outfits for male and female characters perfect for everyday activities and exploration our appearance system allows you to choose outfits for their look while keeping the stats of your preferred gear. You can also save multiple outfit sets for quick access. Equip them for the from the menu and preview them in the store before purchasing. That is great. Offering more flexibility than Portia or Sandra. So that's that's pretty cool to see. Um, they did kind of clarify that the basic version of this will exist. Like the one that was in Sandra, how you had uh, the outfitting, that basic version is still gonna be in the game. This is like this, to the version 2.0. This is the advanced version of this. Uh, and I'm I'm happy to see it. I Will I use this? Probably not, because I am but a, I'm a simple person. Just give me that one outfit and I'm good to go. Unless it can switch them automatically, like The Sims 4 does, how you can kind of set five outfits and it just kind of rotates them in and out. I'd be happy with that because I'm a simple girl who has simple taste. Just give me an outfit that looks halfway decent and we're good to go. So, $2.5 million, the rival romances have made it. I'm So, at least two non-core, I'm stretching the non-core because people are losing their minds over this and it needs to stop. Two non-core NPC couples will have their own unique storyline, and some may even form family, similar to Sonia and Albert and Portia. You'll have quests to help develop their relationship, or you can choose to pursue either of them yourself. And of course, there will be an option to pair non-core NPCs or not, depending on your preference. So $2.75 million, additional core romanceable characters. We can vote for an additional Core romanceable NPC from the previous provided candidates. If the character you choose for the 1.7 stretch goal was a bachelor, this time we'll select a bachelorette and vice versa to ensure balance between the genders, which is great. And then 3 million zoo building. Capture animals from the wild and raise them in a zoo, which can be visited by tourists to generate profit. And then these are just, I think, kind of just joking. <laughs> I don't think there's much... I don't really think these are going to happen. I mean, they'll happen if we get here, but I don't know. So then the bonus of 3 million is after the full release, the first free update will drop five brand new side quests for you to dive into. And then the $10 million one is 
winky pinky <laughs> remake my time at Porsche with Evershine art style and quality of life designs like that is that's never going to happen. Well, really quickly, just to start going through the rewards uh, we have unlocked already. This is the backer t-shirt that everyone will have in game. I'm assuming if you're a backer. So this is the $200,000 reward. This is a look at the $250,000 reward. Um, this is our governor flirting with the wonderful Avery. Uh, very Sims 4-esque to me. Uh, we are praising his looks here and he is blushing. So this is a way to essentially unlock the romance a little bit earlier than it would be in like a sand rock. So that was pretty cool. Uh, I, I, I like this feature. I hope that part of me would like it to have, if they don't welcome it, I don't want negative consequences like, oh my God, he hates me because that, that would ruin me. But if it's unwelcome, I, I just kind of wish he would, I don't want him to be mad, but just, you know, a funnier reaction would be, a comical reaction would be great. <laughs> All right, the $300,000 reward that we unlocked is the bathtub feature. Uh, so we can soak in the bathtub, NPCs can soak in the bathtub. Uh, so I'm just happy to see any type of bathroom related item that actually has a use in the game. Because I mean, in Sandrock we had the jacuzzi, but yeah, that, that was kind of it. <laughs> The next uh, reward we unlocked was a $400,000 reward, which was player voted interactions. So these are basically the interactions, the romantic interactions that we can, like, as you progress in your relationship with an NPC. So they're gonna be like the default ones that come with the game, but they want player input as to what you would like to see. And so there, there is, uh, I believe, I know, I know on Discord there's a place you can put random pictures. So here's a pose of, of just the, the governor kissing Panna. This is the Avery hug, which we've seen before. And then a Panna kissing our cheek. So those are the ones that they are just showing as an example so far. But a lot of people, just as a reminder, if you do submit a design or an idea, um, it needs to be PG-13. <laughs> That's the, the clear thing. So uh, submit away, PG-13. Just remember that. The next item that was unlocked was the $500,000 reward, which is we get to vote on which NPC from Portia or Sandrock gets to come visit Evershop. So this is the list of candidates. Amira, Grace, Nia, Elsie, Mian, Trudy, Fang, Justice, Owen, Chi, Unsur, and Cooper from Sandrock. And then from Portia, Ginger, Emily, Nora, Phyllis, Sam, Petra, Gust, Mint, Arlo, Chu, Remington, or Oaks. Uh, Logan is already going to be visiting. So Logan is kind of, he's officially in. So now we are voting for essentially the second NPC to come visit Evershine and have their own little storyline. The next feature that was unlocked at 600,000 is swimming. So this is just like a mock-up they did to show like what it will look like. This is not how it will probably be in the end. This is essentially a concept. So like, just keep that in mind. A lot of these are just concept. Uh, this is not how it's gonna be officially, uh, but there will be a swimming feature. We also have basic swimsuits. The $700,000 reward was that we have unlocked is a hot spring play date. So this is Ragnar with the governor. Uh, so this is unlocked officially. Uh, they did show this picture. They showed this picture of the date. And then this is just Ragnar in a swimsuit. I don't know if this is going to be the def his default swimsuit or if this was going to be his quote designer swimsuit. Uh, this is just Ragnar in a swimsuit because why not? <laughs> the $800,000 goal was a new pet, which they are taking submissions for on, I believe, the Reddit. And I've seen it on Discord. Uh, just remember, it can't be anything copyrighted. I see a lot of people submitting things that are copyrighted. If it's owned by another franchise, say like something like a Pokemon, it cannot be used in this game. 
So just keep that in mind. It needs to be an original thing. And you are also essentially signing over to Pathia the ability to use it. So if you do make your own art, just keep that in mind. Um, the next thing that was unlocked was for $900,000, which is the pajamas. So these are the pajama sets for the cores that we have so far. Avery, Tia, Freya, Victor, lovely, <laughs> Hannah, and Ragnar. Uh, I do like seeing Avery in blue for a change. I really thought that uh, Avery was going to get the green treatment for like everything. I kind of thought like Avery's color was going to be green. And it hasn't. It, they they gave him blue, and it's great to see him in blue. It's a it's a he's a it's a beautiful color on him. So, uh, and obviously Ragnar's color is kind of becoming pink, which is it's fine by me. Like it it suits him quite well. Uh, the one million dollar reward was uh, ten new poses for the photos which they really haven't released that much more on, but well, it'll be, they're just kind of, all the stuff is trickling out. I think we've gotten much further in the, the Kickstarter than they ever thought, but the hidden goal for 1 million was that Logan will be visiting my time at Evershine. So here's his new art. Uh, the $1.2 million reward was that our builder will also now come with him. So you will have the ability now to when your builder from Sandrock comes to Evershine, you will be able to not only change their appearance to reflect what you want your builder from Sandrock to look like, you can also have your builder's relationship with Logan be set. So if you were married to him, you'll be married to him. If you don't want to be married to him, you don't have to be. Uh, they were asking on Discord how people would feel if you saw your builder from Sandrock kissing Logan, like, and passing in Evershine. I was surprised some people were like, uh-uh. Like, I think that's adorable. I think that would be the sweetest, most touching thing to see. To have my, like, just, just, just be them be affectionate. But, you know, to each their own. The next goal that was unlocked was 1.4 million, which was an adjustable height. So now, not only will we be able to adjust the height, we'll be able to adjust the weight and the shoulders and all that type of stuff. So you can have a very customized uh, governor now. I keep on wanting to say builder. It's not a builder. We are governors. Uh, so adjustable height was 1.4 million. 1.7 million is one more romanceable core NPC. Uh, so you, we will have the vote for the two. So the one male, one female. And then after that vote is done, we will do another vote with the remaining candidates. And then they, it, I, it will be one, whoever the one is, be it a man, male or a female, who gets the most votes. They will be the ninth core NPC, which then brings us to the goal we just unlocked, which is player body customization. So, yeah, so we've fully unlocked a lot of stuff. This is a, a section of stuff that doesn't really fit in with the goals anywhere. It's just extra things they have shared, mainly on Discord, but on the uh, Kickstarter uh, articles, which again, you do not have, if you cannot donate to the Kickstarter, does not mean you cannot look at the articles. The articles are available to anyone to look at. So don't be afraid to go look at the articles. They're a really good source of information if you want to learn about the game. So here is a picture that the devs shared to show the multiplayer fighting. Um, there's a big elephant. I mean, let's talk about the elephant in the room, shall we? There's a huge elephant. Um, part of me is wondering if this is the element, well, spoilers, spoilers. If this is the elephant that you see the hologram of when you are in the under lab seven dungeon with Logan and Nia. Because there's the hologram of the elephant that's really annoying that you, you have to shut it off. Otherwise, it's like, Rah! I wonder if this is that elephant in IRL form. Uh, so, yeah. So, that's this is the multiplayer fighting. Uh, again, you can see they are reusing items from Sandrox. So we have the sword and shield. We have, it looks like a dagger. And then she has a dagger. And she has the gun from Sandrox. Love, love re lo reusing the assets. Love it. Something else the devs have released is some other renderings of characters. Here's Panna. I mean, she's gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Uh, 
And then this is just a closer up of her. I mean, these were, I believe, done in the um, Unreal Engine 5, I think they said. They've been just releasing little pictures here and there. Like we already had the Avery one. We had Freya too. Uh, and then this is Ragnar's uh, render. I mean, he's a good looking guy. <laughs> like it's, they look so beautiful when you see them in this. Another thing really quickly that they did release was uh, the pet animations. Uh, just so this is uh, Sharon, the dog, or could be Charon, I don't know, uh, following the governor. And then this is us petting them. So very cute. It's nice to see a bigger dog. Uh, something that's not really on the Kickstarter per se, but is attached to the Kickstarter, is if we do hit 2.5 million, which is kind of, I think, to me would be like the best of all worlds, there will not be an early access version of this game. Uh, the only access that will be before the final release will be if you have an alpha key from the Kickstarter. Uh, so the reason for not doing an early access is because it does take away from the development time because instead of continuously working on development, they have to stop and then put out an update and do all the stuff that goes with the update, like promoting it and that, da, 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 da. So it just, it takes away, it takes them out of the flow of making the game. So essentially by not having early access, we will have a more finished product in the end because they can just work on the final game. They did say that there is a possibility that there may be a very, very short early access, like right before release. But essentially, they do have enough feedback probably from the alpha or if you have alpha access, you also then are a Kickstar beta player. So you will get multiple test builds to be playing if you have the alpha. The alpha access does start at the $35 pledge. So if this news, if you see we're getting close to the 2.5 million and you want to play the game, like make sure you can play this game in 2026. Early 2026 is the guesstimate of when they're hoping to release this to final release if you don't want to wait till then then if we're getting close to 2.5 million you may want to contemplate at least going in for the 35 dollar if that's important to you just so it's just something to watch keep in the back of your brain when it comes to the end of the kickstarter in like 10 days Another thing that they talked about was uh, the actual building of the settlement. So we will be in charge of deciding where things go in the town, uh, where people live. I mean, personally, <laughs> I will probably <laughs> uh, I will probably put my house right in between Avery and Ragnar. Like, that's a good morning saying hi. Hi, Avery. Hi, Ragnar. How you doing? Because uh, you can also keep them in their pajamas all the time. So I might be doing that. I don't know. <laughs> but anyway, so you could put the buildings wherever you want. You can, if you want it, like they said, the smelting factory, you can put it right next to the mine. And you can just do it. At, it's literally whatever you want. Uh, like they will essentially do things like if you forget to put a roof, like a, a ceiling on a building and oh, it's going to rain in the restaurant. No, they will fix that type of stuff for you automatically. Kind of like The Sims 4 in a way. I am guess that's what I'm kind of envisioning this. How like when you finish a wall, it kind of automatically covers it. Then you can delete the roof or the ceiling. I'm kind I'm hoping that's what it's like, but that's the gist I get out of it. Uh, so they did talk about the building aspect. Which I knew, I do know some people are not too crazy about the building, like the custom buildings. I will probably, like I said before, I will probably be using the prefabs quite handedly often. But then to give things a different character, I'll use a prefab and then maybe change some stuff on the facade. That to me is the best implementation if you're not creative. Because I... 
I do love a good designing a good house in The Sims, but you know, sometimes I don't feel like doing it. And then just the thing they released this morning saying thank you for reaching the two million, which I still can't believe we got there. Uh, I, I cannot believe we got there. But anyways, uh, so I just want to do again, like I said, another little update on the Kickstarter. I was really hoping that there would be soon like a really large for lack of a better phrasing, a large information dump towards this part with nine days to go to get people really interested in the, the last uh, the last little bit of the campaign. I'm really still hoping on that. Like I would love a nice bio background type deal on the cores, except for Victor, because they have said they are probably going to keep Victor hidden until uh, till the game's released, pretty much. So, like, I would like a nice background on Avery or a nice background on Ragnar or the girls like Freya, Tia, Panna. It doesn't need to be too in-depth, but, like, to me, they do need to do a decent release of information just to kind of get the interest back going. I would like to get us to 2.5 just because I know eliminating early access would help them a lot. Anyways, that's all the updates I have for you. Uh, I've been trying to keep track of all the different information that's come out, like the little the little crumbs that they've been giving us. And I think that was everything that I can remember from the last update video. So I'm probably I am probably forgetting something, which I then I apologize. Anyway, so hope you enjoyed. Take care of yourself and bye for now. Mm -hmm.